So I'm pretty sure I've mentioned this before, but I like simple things. I like the way things work. Uh, all the tools we're going to use today, obviously there'll be links in the description, but I like the simple helmets with the two by four lens. Another reason I like them a lot is because the lens covers for them are super cheap. So there's a lens and then a lens cover in here to protect the lens, obviously. And so what you do is you pull these apart and you can see that lens cover is pretty beat up, but if I take it off, the lens looks much better. It needs a little cleaning. And then I need to put one on the back side because there's supposed to be one on the back side and I didn't have one. So, looking pretty good. I do like glass. They make plastic lenses. Find a glass one. But anyway, now I'll be able to see a lot better as I work. So we'll get into Oh, and I have glass. So actually, I'm going to switch out. I'm going to make this my backup lens because I kind of got it dirty. And I'm going to go with a new glass lens as you see here. This is a shade 10. I prefer shade 10 for most things. Inside out, you know. And then we got our lens cover. Put one on the front. And one on the back. And these are just plastic polycarbonate. And as you see there, We've got our lens sandwich and we're ready to put it back into the welding hood. If I don't break it. Jeez. Put it back in. And we got our spacer and our, our two spacers, curved and a flat spacer. And then this is just a little piece of flexible plastic. It's got some nubbins it catches on in here, like that, and then you can see it's caught on the nubs here and here, and then you just push that down. And there we go, we've got a brand new lens all set up in our hood. Uh, you'll be amazed how big of a difference this will make. I mean, look how dirty and hard. It's like, no wonder I couldn't see what I was doing welding through that. I mean, that's garbage, so. Uh, obviously links in the description for all this stuff. These lens covers are cheap. Well, they, I mean, they're not as cheap as they used to be, but they're still cheap. Uh, so I'm gonna get some set up, get some things moved around, and then we'll bring you guys back in. Now, I don't have very much acetylene today, and I need to get this project done, so I think I'm gonna try to cut the first cut with my Sawzall, and then we'll move from there.
Okay, got it cut, but before I go any farther, I'm gonna cut this one right there, and then we'll match them up because nothing ever fits perfectly, and so I'll match it up, make sure I can see where I need to grind and clean it up more. I mean, I'm probably, I'm sure I'm gonna have to clean a little bit. It's pretty straight. This down here dipped in a little bit, which stinks because that's the thinnest part of the pipe, but we'll get her fixed anyway. Okay, I got my first two pieces ready to uh, weld. They're fitted. Uh, they lined up pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and weld them. I did go ahead and I cut this one back a little farther because when I cut it off, I noticed a pinhole and the metal was really thin on the bottom and it, I could just cut it back and get to some better steel. So that's what I went ahead and did. So now I'm going to get set up to weld and we're going to get welding. <laughs>
Okay, I'm mostly done. There's a couple little holes in this pipe. It's thinner, I gotta fill. But that's kind of what the welds are looking like. Nothing too fancy, but definitely will hold water. I'm gonna get this finished, packed up, and uh, I don't know what we're doing the rest. Oh, I know what we're doing the rest of the day. That'll be cool, we'll show you. It's that time again. I have to say I'm a wuss. I'm glad I got air conditioning. I think that's it for the day. I'm gonna keep going on the skid steer and uh, then we'll catch you guys tomorrow. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment. Uh, my birthday is in the middle of the May. My birthday is in the middle of May and I'd like to get to 500 subscribers before then. So please make sure you jump down there, like, subscribe, and comment. We'll catch you next time on American Beef Ranch.